Yo, what's going on everybody, it's your boy Incog, aka Avery, whatever you prefer, and it is another beautiful, sun-shining Bibble video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, if you didn't see last week's Bibble video, then hey, check it out in the iCard in the top right corner, or, or don't. You know, you could be a lazy bitch and listen to me spoil it in 3, 2, 1. Hey, we beat Liv somehow, and uh, it was a really convincing win, so hey, we're 2 and 2. Um, this should be epic. This should be pretty good. Um, it was a pretty good win last week. I think our kill leader is now Kieran Black, aka Young Kieran African American, aka Young Bio Broly. And this week we face the San Ant Eggies and Sir Jorge the Great. He's unfortunately one in three, but he'll probably be looking to get his next victory against us. He has a very disgustingly scary team. Oh my god, it is... I, I hate it. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I fucking hate this team. <laughs> it's It was hell to prep for, alright? Let's go ahead and review what Jorge has for us, alright? So today, Jorge has the Zygarde Complete, Victini, Toxapex, Crobat, Klefki, Raikou, Escavalier, Jellicent, Pangoro, Sandslash, and Ninetales Alolan, and the last Alolan being Executor, of course, because that's his thing. Sir Jorge over here, man, got a really nice team. Uh, it functions well enough. I just think that we need to focus on how to beat the main attackers. He obviously has the Zygarde 100%. It could either come in as Zygarde 50 or Zygarde 10%. And at below 50%, it becomes Big Mommy Zygarde. Victini is obviously a Pokemon that could be dangerous, could be special, could be physical, or honestly could just be a final gambiting piece of garbage. Uh, we have Toxapex, Wall of the Century. Wall of the year, three years going. It's a pretty good one. Um, I guess not really against our team, but I mean, eh. You never know what I could bring this game. Crobat's great for defog and is a good poison type overall. Uh, could also be a physical mess and has a really good speed tier for Hori's team. Klefki is a good screens user. Uh, also just an annoying fucking Pokemon. Raikou's good at calm minding and subbing and then using two attacks to kill us. S Cavalier is a good steel type. I don't know if it would come this game, but it could. Uh, definitely a good uh, defensive uh, Pokemon, no cap. Jellicent, one of the most annoying string sap users in the world, is also a pretty good water ghost type. It can also be very offensive. Uh, but it's a pretty good defensive ghost and a very, very good water. Uh, Pangoro, I don't even want to talk about. If it comes this game, then I, I, I don't know. Because <laughs> it can actually tear apart my team a little bit. Um, it's a good dark type, great fighting type, gets parting shot. Obviously, Choice Bandit Pangoro would be a very good bring to this game. Uh, last three Pokemon are his, ha is his Hail Core and a little Eggy. Uh, Hail Core is really good this week, obviously. Uh, if he has the speed and the stat buffs, then Sand Slash could beat the shit out of us. A little Ninetales, well, it's not going to beat us like 1v1 against like a good chunk of Ramon's, it's still a really dangerous threat of its specs, and even then, Blizzard, specs in the hail, can't miss, hurts a little bit, to a lot, to a lot of our team. Alone Executor is just kind of there to have a good time, not there for a long time, but hey, Jorge likes to bring it, hopefully he doesn't bring it this week. Um, if I had to guess what he'd bring, I'd say Zygarde, Victini, uh, Klefki, Raikou, and then Sandslash and Ninetales. If he could switch out any of those, I'd say switch out Klefki for Crobat or Pex, or even Jellicent to that extent. But I definitely think Zygarde, Victini, Raikou are definitely coming. I think Raikou's matchup is phenomenal. I think Victini's matchup is phenomenal. And Zygarde's matchup, while it's not crazy phenomenal, not bringing your Uber could definitely spell, you know, trouble. Uh, his Hail Core could definitely come this game. If it doesn't, I would not be surprised at all. I could still see a little Ninetales regardless of packing with a little Insane Slash just because uh, Ninetales is still really, really good in general for getting off good damage and such. Anyways, let's go cool and talk about what I'm bringing this week. So, first up, we have Avalug. Oh, yeah. That's the first one, I know. Avalug. Uh, what? 149? That should not say that. That should say 140. Uh, yeah, it should say 140. I don't know why it says 149. Uh, 116 HP, 252 attack, 140 speed, adamant nature. Uh, Avalug has sturdy, obviously, for this week with Custab, Barrier, Body Press, Icicle Spear, Miracle, and Protect. So, this, um, evidently can beat a fair chunk of Jorge's team if in the right positioning. Body press, uh, I think two AKOs or even sometimes one AKO is a little insane slash, I'm pretty sure. 
um ice school spirits just for zygarde if we're at one percent silver cut step area and we and if he doesn't have like extreme speed ice school spear will beat and kill it most likely because we have max attack adamant uh, miracle protect is a really funny one so this could be our lead set where we protect against a possible victini lead and then if it goes for like blue flare or if it's going for u-turn we'll determine off of that if it goes for blue flare the next turn then that's bad but if he doesn't it's whatever um we can miracle blue flare back with our sturdy and he will die which is pretty good uh, we can also miracle things like the nine tails like the uh raiko and if he's like special zygarde or like some special klefki call minding even to some extent a flamethrowing executor lolan we have 140 speed which gives us up to 66 this was initially to allow us to outspeed the toxapex or even to some extent once we gave it more speed we also be no speed alone executor which allows us to just take to high school spear and kill it um which is really really dope but yeah that's all that avalo really does this game sorry someone's talking about something in a different server excuse me hold on there we go <clears throat> next up we have uh what did i put next oh by the by this is the first week that avalox coming and i think it has a really decent matchup against a team that has a dragon ground type as its uber it could come next week when we fight matt because matt has a uh requaza but obviously if he sees this video and you know sees miracle he might not bring special he might not see you know, you know, you know what I'm not going to guess what he's going to do, but I know what this Pokemon can and will do. It will try. Anyways, next up we have is our... Oh, 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 there it goes. So, Galio, Full Metal Body Choice Scarf. Once again, another choice item for Solgaleo. 124 HP, 252 Attack, 132 Speed with Adamant as well. Uh, Psychic Fangs, Flare Blitz, Sun Steel Strike, and Crunch. This is our, one of our designated checks. Uh, 134 is the speed that we hit with this Pokemon. This allows us to outpace... Um, Fuck was it, Avery? Uh, 134 outpaces Crobat if it's Max Max, which is really good. So outpaces everything with a scarf. If anything else is scarfed and is like 134 or more, then it will outpace us. That's pretty simple. Uh, Psychic Fangs uh, always Oko's Crobat unless it's Pyapa Berry, which I mean at that point, I mean good for him. Uh, two it kills Toxapex all the time, and we don't get poison off of Bangful Bunker, so that's really good. Sunsteel Strike is really good against just generally everything else on his team. Oko's Nine Tails Alolan, even behind a um, an Aurora Veil, also can do chunks of damage everywhere else. Flare Blitz Oko, something like the Clef Key if it doesn't have Reflect Up, and also Oko's the S Cavalier. Uh, we want a Psychic Fangs first. Obviously, the Clef Key puts up any screens, but we want to be careful, low key, against that. Uh, Crunch will do chunks of damage to Victini if it is Scarf, then we need to be careful. Um, but if it's not Scarf, then we'll beat it out in terms of speed, and Crunch should be able to do a KO it, and sometimes, in rare cases, one-hit KO it. Additionally, Crunch does not ever have a chance to Oko Jellicent, but, like, if we already popped a Colber, which I'm expecting this week, um, then we should be fine, and it should be able to do enough damage. Um, but yeah, so Galio, man. Uh, next up, we have the Kieran Black. African-American Kieran Black, to be exact. Terrible, of course, a Bonberry, 148 HP, 252 Special Attack, 108 Speed with Modest, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, Earth Power, and Flash Cannon. Yeah, we're bringing Special Kieran Black. Uh, I was talking call with people, you know, just like in general, we were just talking about things, and I was kind of, you know, boned in a way about what I should do about this matchup. And it came off that, I should win this, so I am. Uh, Kieran Black has a Bonberry because an outrage from even a Bandit Zygarde will not kill us, and we'll always kill with Ice Beam, and that's very, very important to note. Unless Hore comes in with a Yachi Berry, we should kill with Ice Beam. Now, of course, this is also saying that he is going for Outrage. If he decides not to, that's completely fine. If he decides to go for Outrage and we live, and if he lives Ice Beam, really, then we'll go into um, Avalug and probably just be able to tank the hit afterwards, even to some extent... I think, yeah, I think Avalog would be the best decision besides Solgaleo, honestly. Um, otherwise, Ice Beam could also Oko the Crobat, Freeze Dry can do a KO the Toxapex, if it's not especially defensive, can also do a KO the Jellicent, depending on investments. Um, Ice Beam or Freeze Dry will always kill the Alone Executor. Um, Earth Power should be able to do enough damage to a Klefki and a Raikou. We also break Raikou's sub at plus one special defense, unless he has a ton of HP. Um, other than that, Flash Cannon is here for Alone Ninetales. And that does a lot of damage. The speed here at, we hit 129 speed about. So we beat an Alolan Sandslash outside of Hail. 
Uh, also, it does not kill us with an Iron Head, and Earth Power should be able to do enough damage to kill it. Um, I actually don't know that calc off rip, but I hope it does, and I'll probably say it before the game happens if it does or it doesn't. Uh, next up, though, we have our Glow King this week with Regenerator and the Shuckaberry Sidekick, Flamethrower, Slack Off, and Ice Beam. Investments are all over the place. Let me talk about it. 252 HP, 20 defense, 188 special attack, 4 and speed F, and 44 speed with the modest nature. All right, Glow King this week is a really fun set. Um, this with 188 special attack allows us to always Oko a Zygarde no matter what, unless he is in like big Zygarde form, then we do not kill. Um, I'm pretty sure we don't kill. Uh, otherwise, we tank a thousand arrows really nicely. We also have slack off because obviously we can just get up back health and we can switch out with the regenerator and get all of our health back. Um, other than that, really, Psychic can 2AK almost Toxapexes and Oko most Crobats. Flamethrower is really good against S Cavalier. I wanted to run Fire Blast, which would ensure that we Oka S Cavalier. Uh, Flamethrower is a 50 50 on S Cavalier, funny enough, if it Okos or not, but genuinely, like, it's S Cavalier at that point. If we don't kill, we don't kill. If we do, we do. Um, I don't think it's that big of an issue, but it can turn out to be one depending on what the situation is. Otherwise, realistically, Glow King can be a really, really good um, offensive. Uh, pivot it doesn't need to be too too bulky. I wanted it to be really bulky, but I decided against it Additionally, we have speed for a no speed toxapex because that hits 55. We're hitting 56 this week um, The other really funny thing is like if a lowland sense is using earthquake for instance We don't care we can flamethrower it and we'll die um, But goes to knockoff we'll tank the hit and we can still also kill it anything going for knockoff that isn't like s cavalier or yeah, I guess really Escavalier is the only other Pokemon I can really think of. And I guess Pangoro, more obviously, will live the knockoff, basically. And we can hit them back with whatever hit we can do. Um, we definitely don't want this in against Pangoro, though, if I'm being real. Uh, next up, though, we have another really nice Pokemon. We have Milo Tick with Marvel Scale Flame Orb, Ice Beam, Recover, Scald, and Mud Shot. 252 HP, 180 Defense, 76 Spidef with, or Special Attack, excuse me, with the Modest Nature. Shout out to Irish Emerald. The, this my, uh, Milo set with Mud Shot beat the shit out of me when I first ever fought him in the UBL, so I'm bringing it to the table this week. Let me tell you all about it. So with the defense boost in the flame orb, we should be fine against generally his entire team. We have recover just because we need to keep up our HP stat. Ice Beam's really good this week just because Zygar does not want to see us in a dark alley. And additionally, we can break its sub every time unless it's like a crazy, like, Yachi Berry set. But Yachi Berry doesn't proc if you're buying us up, so we'll be fine. Um, Generally speaking with this set, with Mudshot, we can slow down the Alolan Sand Slash and even put it in range of different attacks. Mudshot with the 76 will allow us to always break a Raikou sub, I'm pretty sure, unless it's like boosted. Uh, we can also Mudshot things with the Klefki. We can also Scold uh, different Pokemon on this team. Mudshot also allows us to touch the Toxapex, which is eh, iffy if it's really that important. But yeah, Milotic does a good chunk of damage to this team, even with not too much investment. Um, and additionally, it could be a very uh, disgusting Pokemon for Hori to handle because of Recover and the, the general defense boost. So yeah, Milo takes here uh, to try and do its best, obviously. Um, additionally, what I was going to say, Raikou can be an issue for Milo Tick, but it's, it has to be already behind a sub. I don't recall if we die to a Thunderbolt. I don't know if we die to a Choice Specs one. And I don't know if we die to a regular one. So we're going to find that out later before the match happens, because this has been recorded the day before. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, last but certainly not least, with our next and last Pokemon, we have a little Unwack this week. Once again, bringing it Thick Club, Rockhead, Earthquake, Shadow Bone, uh, Flare Blitz, and Substitute. 132 HP, 252 Attack, 124 Speed with the Adamant Nature. Okay, so before you look at your screen and say, Avery, what the fuck are you doing? Let me tell you something. This Pokemon, in the right situation, can clean up an entire game by itself. With the investment that we have in HP, we should be able to live certain kinds of hits. A Shadow Ball from Jellison, Skulls from Jellison, and etc, etc. Here's the thing. With the speed that we have, we hit 81. Why is that so specific? First off, with 81 speed, we are able to outspeed the S Cavalier all the time, and we outspeed no speed Jellison. If we can get up a sub, then anything that wants to switch in against us needs to take a hit. So, Victini wants to break our sub, Victini wants to break our sub. Um, Crobat wants to break our sub, Crobat has to take a hit and it can break our sub. 
whatever wants to break our sub that's coming in will also be taking a heavy L from doing it too. So everything on Jorge's team doesn't want to see this except for maybe Zygarde, but even at that point like Shadowbone and even Earthquake to that extent will still break its sub I'm pretty sure as long as it's not like big Zygarde form, obviously. Other than that, really, um, Alolan Whack does a lot of damage to this team, and behind a sub, it, it really does not matter what happens. Obviously, I wanted to run um, Lightning Rod, but I couldn't afford to, mostly because Rockhead's really important for the Flare Blitz damage, and I don't want to take Recoil. I was going to run Lightning Rod just because I could, and it would have been better to, like, one of you wanted to Raikou with, but obviously, if Raikou's going for Shadow Ball, it's going for Shadow Ball at the end of the day. Uh, I don't know if we actually live a max or just like a modest light, uh, shadow ball. Um, if, if we if we don't, we don't. If we do, that'd be great. I'll do a few calcs, obviously, as I've been saying for this amount of time. But although a Marowak behind a sub could actually fuck up his team, and I really wanted to run flame charts to make that even sweeter. But I needed three moves. I needed dual stabs. I needed earthquake. But yeah, guys, that's a little whack this week. Um, honestly, he does a lot more work. And I just need to play a little bit better with it. Because obviously when I fought D-Ray, I was just, I just threw it out there and it died. And I just sat there and I was like, why did I do that? So, yeah, Alolan Whack is here to try and do its best as well. But we're going to go ahead and fight uh, Sir Jorge the Great and his Sant Aunt Eggies. I think it's supposed to be San Antonio. I'm not actually sure. But hey, that's all good. Let's go ahead and get right into the battle. All right, everybody, we're going to get started today against Jorge the Great, Sir Jorge the Great, really, and his San Ant Eggies. I don't know if it's supposed to be San Antonio. I ain't never asked, but we're going to see. All right, I'll put myself in streamer mode. Let's get these bands. Okay, he brings it. Oh, he didn't bring the hill. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, though. That makes a lot of sense. He brings his Zygarde and the Raikou as expected, brings the Victini as expected. Pangoro, like I said during the team builder, runs my ass because obviously, you know, I don't really have a dark switching. Um, Clef Key, which is probably going to be his lead because uh, screens and even just really a calm mind, Clef Key could actually do a lot of work this game. Jellicent's here, which I mean, I hate that Pokemon, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah, man, uh, hopefully he doesn't lead Raikou. Uh, let's get our bands up today, fellers. All right, so if Klefki's the lead, and that's what my prediction is, then I could lead Shackled, but then I have to pivot out if he is going Pangora lead, because I don't think I put enough speed for that. Also, he did bring the Pex. Ooh, that's really good. That opens up the game real fucking nicely, OG. All right. What happens if I go Slowking first? If I go Slowking first and he's Pangoro, I will lose... I can't speak. I will lose this game. Uh, Pangoro's actually a really big issue. Huh, who would have fucking guessed that, right? All right, um, I changed from Shaka to... I changed from Copal to Shaka, so... All right, let's just go Glow King and see how it goes. If he parting shots, he parting shots. It is what it is. Um, Milo will just come in, generally speaking. All right, let's get it. Good luck, have fun to Jorge, and let's have a good time, because we're here for a good time, not for a long time, of course. All right. Let's see what we can do this week. Ah, he has a nice little photo. You already know I got the photo on deck, my nigga. Ah, uh, let's see. I think I didn't change it since last week, so I need to change it again for week six, since this is week five of the Bibble. LT Gray, oh golly gee, Willicker Scoob. Well, I, I'm glad I actually let this now. <laughs> um, I wanted to lead Lolan Whack because there would be a Raikou, um, more obviously. And unfortunately, I went with Rockhead this week instead of uh, Lightning Rod as I said in Team Builder. Uh, we just Psychic, honestly. If he Volt Switches in the Pangora, I mean, like, I'm not 100% down horrendously, but I can't let this guy set up. I can't let him set up a sub or anything, so I have to Psychic. Like, I've seen what he's done with this Raikou to other people, and I've seen what Raikou has done for other people. I'm not with it. <laughs> this entire team was constructed on the belief that Raikou isn't allowed to win this game. Now, will it win this game? Eh, there's a high chance. Um, I'm really surprised they didn't bring Hail, though. My team against Alolan Slash is not very good. Well, I guess some of them aren't. I do have a Solgaleo. Just goes hard Volt Switch, which means he's probably going to Pangora. We're going to take that. Uh, we are not very bulky this week. We just have max HP about. Oh, my Calc's not open. Well, that's bad. I don't think that Specs damage, though, regardless. I think that's just regular damage. He probably has leftovers. But if he's Volt Switch, then he's definitely not sub. Because why would you do that? Yeah, he goes right into this dumb fucking Pokemon, this Pangora ass nigga. Alright, that's fine. Uh, if he wants to go for Knock, that's probable. 
Um, I don't have anything else to take a knock off. See, this is what I'm talking about, son. I don't have shit for this. I could go into my wrist and then protect or even just pivot right back out into something else. Um, but I really need flame over Milo, and that's why I was like, oh, wait, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go into my wrist because I, I can't let Glow King lose his Chuckaberry. That is an instant check to that damn Zygarde. <clears throat> now he's gonna see the cuss that berry. Unfortunately, you don't get it to work this week, but we'll get it to work another week. Oh, he just goes party shot. Oh, thank the Lord have mercy on my soul. Hold on. Now, wait a minute. Nah, go Victini. Please go Victini. If you go Victini, you are catching a body. There is a body about to be discovered. Call it dang it, grandpa, my nigga. I have to protect first to obviously scout if he is, um, what is it? If he is obviously physical. Just because uh, if he is, then that'd be bad. So Victor, all right, so there it is. <laughs> There's the active threat. Uh, we're gonna protect. He's probably physical with Bolt Strike, to be completely fair, because that would make more sense, I guess, maybe. I'm gonna protect, though. We're gonna scout. Gotta scout, my boy. Gotta see it through, my boy. Goes Flame Charge. Ooh, ooh, bitch. Bitch, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that tells us he's physical. We'll live that, but we don't have anything on here. I had Earthquake over Body Press because I was concerned about a certain Alolan Slash, but seems like somebody forgot that. Uh, Milo gets Bolt Striked in the face, but I don't die. But then if I die to the next one, that's not good, and I don't think I'm going to find a good time to recover. I mean, he has a Jellicent and a Klefki, so I do have good Pokemon to recover on. Never mind. I'm going to go Milo. I just have to check if he's physical or special, so he's flame charge this week. Oh, what do you go into, Raikou? Lost. Well, that's Klefki. Oh, well, glad I have much shot and a flame orb that just popped. Amazing. I don't understand that switching, actually. I actually don't understand that switching, for once. There are some times where I know why somebody does something, but that wouldn't confuse the hell out of me. Uh, I just mud shot here, right? Unless he's Calm Mind, then I have to re-switch out. Um... What would I switch into if he's calm? Am I going to Shackled? Probably. Because I don't think I think it's Shadow Ball. And Shackled to be able to sub up on what would potentially be coming in. So I can butt shot this. Um, we're going to see what he opts to do, though. Goes for Light Screen. That's fine. Mud shot is still really free this game, regardless. And people who are watching my video right now, you're probably saying to yourself, Hey, variety of Mud Shot. Well, uh, first off, the speed lowering is great. Second off, uh, it hits Raikou and actually always breaks up with my investment, which is actually really good. Um, what's he go into here? He doesn't have much unless he goes hard fucking Magnet Rise right now. Right? Do I just Scald to see if I can fish a burn off of Pangor or something? No, just keep attacking with your Brainy Waver. Just keep mud shotting. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, I don't have Azure Control on this team today. I My Avalog is Custap, not Boots, and it's also not Spin. So I just I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. Now will spikes end me? Probably. But I don't want to switch into something because if he has T Wave, because he probably has Reflect, probably has T Wave. Or he might have play rough or something. Uh hmm. Think Avery, think. Would it be worth it to go into shackled now and then sub on him? Because if I sub, something comes in and something dies when it's coming out too. That'd be the very aggressive play here. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Shackled. I'm gonna get this little whack to go off, bro. I'm gonna take a layer of spikes damage. Um, obviously. New bone who this. Let's see it. He just goes for the spikes again? Yeah, just go for spikes. Uh, he's probably gonna give his third layer. Uh, we can sub on this. Um, more obviously. Let me just go ahead and check out... Uh, what the fuck else does Klefki do that isn't this? Klefki... Uh, I got a little bit of time. I got, I got time. I got time. Oh, that is not how you spell that. Left key. Uh, you get foul play. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Would he have foul play? Yeah, he would. He would have foul play. Was this a throwaway? <laughs> What's Klefki's speed with that? I don't think. I think it's faster than me. I think. Am I risking this? Is this a risk I want to take, or do I just go back into Milo and recover spam? I low-key want to sub so badly, but I think he's going to foul play, so I'm going to go into Milo because... I honestly, I shouldn't have let him get up spikes as I did. I should have brought maybe Talonflame into this game, but seeing his team, Talonflame did not, like, have any time here. I think he's going for foul play. If he goes for foul play, then I made a really good uh, prediction there. 
45. No, reflect. All right, Avery, get out your own head. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's recover this turn. He doesn't have taunt. There's no way he's taunt as his last move, and that'd just be fucking ridiculous. Come on. He's light clay, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Unless it pops now. I'm recovering this turn, then I can mud shot. Um, if he's light clay, the mud shot does not, unfortunately, get rid of sub on Raikou. But, like, all right. I'm pretty okay with this. It, too, it does it twice, and then I can literally go into Solgaleo and just beat it up with Earthquake. So, I, I'm, I'm doing good. I wish I brought Talonflame for Defog, but sometimes you make decisions that are not okay. And sometimes you gotta deal with those decisions. Let's see how this one goes, though. Okay, so he withdraws. He's go hard Raikou, Jellicent, Zygarde, Tommy Oliver. That is the Zygarde. All right. Well, that was awfully impressive. Um, <clears throat> why would you go into this? Hmm. If he's not light clay, then we're going to see it soon. Okay, let's check it. That's my side. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, okay. Uh, will Ice Beam still break? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Even if he sets up in my face, I'm a Milo Tick. Avery, come on. Just Ice Beam. I'm a Milo Tick with... Okay, so he just re-switches out. Is this Victini? Yeah, it is. That, that was a good play. That was a good play, admittedly. I'm an idiot for that one, but it's okay. What happens if I freeze this? Imagine if I froze him. Damn. I can't call this. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Let's breathe. If he's flame charging, then he's gonna bolt strike this turn. Should I maybe mud shot this turn? I feel like mud shot would be better because then I could pivot out and he only gets back up to neutral. I'm gonna mud shot. I'm gonna call his prediction and my prediction or some other prediction prediction. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mud shot though. I gotta keep him at bay. I gotta I gotta make sure he knows that I'm an idiot, a buffoon even. Ooh, he re-switches. Telling you, I'm telling you! Look at that! Look at God! Ain't nobody fucking with the click, see? See, I knew he would re-pivot out. There's no way. There's no way, bro. <laughs> I got bailed out by something that I shouldn't have gotten bailed out by. <laughs> that I did not make a good play. Anybody who's watching this right now, I did not make a good play. I just went with the flow. Um, we can recover this turn, to be fair. He realizes that the Mudshot doesn't do 25%, so he might sub. He might also Volt Switch. I'm kind of obligated to go for Mudshot again, but I also need that health back if he goes for something else. I need to recover. Oh, Discharge. A word? Oh, snap skis. We can't get paralyzed, so get your bands up. 168 we're at, and it goes down to 50. Um, do we get back around that health? Ooh, we are losing about 17 health per turn. Uh, he did about 118 damage, so that means we need to switch out. Um, yeah, we need to switch out immediately post haste. Uh, it's either that or we just mud shot again and see where we're at. But I don't have a good switch into this regardless. I kind of want to go into my wrist and just let it die, but I also really... T there's so many decisions that I should have been making already that I'm not making right now that I need to start making. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start thinking with my head here. He withdraws, that's actually really good. Goes into loss, he goes into Klefki, okay. So Glow King coming in here is actually kind of cool because now even if I take Spike's damage, I can still go for Slack off this next turn. And unless he goes like hard Zygo, well, I guess hard Pangoro really, <clears throat> we should be okay. I can also flamethrower this turn. Just because Pangora comes in every fucking time. I'm a flamethrower regardless. I don't need to slack off yet because I have regen. It goes light screen, which is fine. I need to play with my head on my shoulders and not my head up my ass. So let's see how just does. He's around there. Uh, that could have two code. No, I didn't get a burn. Could have two code. Um, yeah, we just flamethrower again. If we can kill Klefki, that'd be dope. If he goes hard into Jelson, that's fine. I don't die to Jelson regardless. Um, if he goes hard Zygarde right after Klefki dies, we Ice Beam it. And though we don't kill it, it's still a good chunk of damage regardless. Um, he's going to go for the last layer of spikes, which is fine. Um, we're going to see if we get this kill. It looks like it was close because he's around like 55, 60 ish range. And now he's down there. So is that a kill? It is. Uh, yep, right? Yeah, awesome. Good job looking. Oh, this is not going the way I thought it would, but something has to give. He didn't put up Reflect, which is really good for Sagalio in the late game. 
Sogali even behind three, even on three layers of spikes on Allah's name, can earthquake through this team if Pangoro's dead and if Jellison's low. All we gotta do is handle the big fish, Larry Hoover. Written works, hallelujah. That boy, uh, Zygarde, 50% milk, which is gonna be uh, Zygarde complete once he gets down to 50, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I thought he brings Zygarde 10%. Honestly, this game is a little bit faster and could do a lot more damage. But I can see it. I can see Zygarde 50. It's a lot bulkier. Let's see what Jorge opts to do here. That's true mode on, so no notifications are playing in my ear, I tell you what. Uh, that's good, that's good. Okay. Nope, goes Pangoro, which makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> I have to go back into Avalug, obviously. Um, Avalug's the only Pokemon I have that is a sack now. God, I really, really wish he was Special Victina. This would have been so good. I could also say it for the Raikou. I could also say for the Zygarde as well, then start setting up. But I mean, like, even at plus one, we'll live with Glow Up. And even at plus one, we'll live with Milo, so... Um, my wrist. Yeah, you gotta be the sack fly, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't like doing this to you, Slim, but you gotta go. <laughs> um, if he knocks off, he knocks over Custap, and we can just body press something. Maybe even this. Yeah, the 139, and he's gonna go for Parting Shot. God damn it, I should have listened to my own instincts and slacked off. <laughs> um, if he goes hard Victini, then we have to re-switch out. If he goes hard Zygarde, then I'm tempted just to Ice Ghost Spear, honestly, but we're gonna see. He probably goes hard Raikou or Victini. Yeah, that's Victini. Um, we just protect again, honestly. I, I, I'm not taking damage. I'm, I'm not letting you get this plane charge up, buddy. <laughs> I'm not, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not happening today, bro. I'm sorry. That Pangoro... See, when people told me I needed a Dark Switch in, they were not fucking kidding. Because <laughs> it's really scary to see a Pokemon with that much attack and that much offensive presence beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I'm going to protect. Uh, we're going to see what he helps to do. If he has work up, that'd be really not Poggers. Okay, he went for Lane Charger. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know what the fuck to do with this Pokemon here, yeah. I'm very scared of this Pokemon, and this is why. Honestly, Generator, if Wrist dies, Generator comes in. And even for Scarfing around speed, but does it get anything physically to beat us? I don't know. Um, I kind of have to let this die, honestly. I'm going to Ice School Spear this turn. I, I don't have much else that I can sack. Yeah, he just goes Flame Charge. Like, I don't have anything else to do with this Pokemon. 39 down to 103. He could also be special with just flame charge hold on that's five percent per, per hit hold on hold on that's two all right well you know what that's still good damage that's still good damage i would mirror coat this turn but i don't live whatever hit he's gonna go for i'm just gonna ice cool spear I know, this is a bad end game, and I know this is going to turn out really bad for your boy, but I don't think Victini beats me at least 1v1 with Milo still, and even with Karen Black, I don't think Victini gets anything, physically speaking. That was a crit? Oh, okay. Well, give me five crits. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I'm just going to write down Victini kills Avalug. This is a really bad battle for me. Oh, he is special. Great. <laughs> great <laughs> great god damn it i knew it i knew i fucking knew it that's why he switched out earlier because he knew i'd go oh my god okay 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 all right no 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 it's fine it is completely fine my nigga is he scared of kieran black maybe but i know this thing is dazzling gleam you know what I'm gonna fuck around and find out. I'm gonna fuck around and find out today. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. I'm gonna fuck around and find out. If I lose to a Victini, I lose to a Victini. I gotta get... I, I cannot keep playing like a bitch. I gotta see what's going on here. If he pivots out, he pivots out. I ain't got nothing else to say about that. Earth Power, he is... What? Jellicent, Pangora is his switch ends? Let me see the Earth Power go off. He has Dazzling Gleam, which means I'm gonna die. Isn't that right? Nah, psych! Generator Rex is bulky as a bitch! Oh. He's bulky as a bitch, too. <laughs> He's weakness policy, isn't he? And he had light screen up, Avery, you fucking dumbass. 
So he has Flame Charge, Blue Flare, Dazzling and Gleam. Does he get T-Bolt? I'm pretty sure. Does Blue Flare automatically kill Glow King? I'm not sure. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to say GG right here. <laughs> I think I just lost. Oh my god. I was not prepared for this Victini set at all. That's KYB going down. If I brought that back in too many more times, Spikes would have killed it. Um, I wish I bought AV Glow King now all of a sudden, but I'm Shaka. So this is bad. This is real bad, and I don't have anything to hit that with. I think I have to go Milo and hope to God he doesn't have anything for me. Yeah, I think I have to go Milo and hope he doesn't have anything for me. Because I don't remember what Victini gets on the special side for the most part. I know it gets Bolt Strike. I know it gets Fusion Bolt. It's pretty sure it gets Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure it gets Thunderbolt. If he has Thunderbolt, then he uses it here. Um, yeah, I have to recover this turn. I have to. I, I can't afford not to. If he switches out, then so Galio becomes the end game win con. And okay, he is thunder and he hits. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, okay. That's a flex, my nigga. That's a flex. I see it. That's a flex, though, my nigga. That's a flex. All right. That that sucks, dick. That sucks. Massive penis. Uh, I think Dazzling Gleam will also kill Shackle here. Um, actually, no, that's a resist, so he has to go for Thunder, thinking that I'm not, um, what's its face? Yeah, he has to go for Thunder here, thinking I'm not, um, Lightning Rod. If he misses, he misses. If he dies, he dies. Blue Flare won't kill me from this range. I know that. I should. I shouldn't die. Now with my little bit of investment. And he lands a nut! See, this is why I should have been fucking Lightning Rod, see? God fucking damn it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks, dude. That sucks. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to combat this. This is exactly what I was doing at prep, bro. I was sitting here thinking, man, Big Teeny's going to whoop my ass. And look at it. Look at God. Look at God. And I wish I, I didn't prep as well as I thought I did. That's very clear. Which is going to be something I need to definitely look forward to for next week. Because I play Matt O'Shea. And that's going to be a really tough matchup. So this this would have been easier if I had just fucking thought about what I was doing. I kind of have to go for damage at this point. So Galio just loses to this 1v1. It's Blue Flare, obviously. I'm not to so I'm going to die. Yup. Yeah, that's the game. I think Vitini just reversed me. Or just beat the shit out of me because I was playing like a bitch early game. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, that sucks dick. That sucks so much dick. Like, copious amounts, bro. That sucks. It's because of that Pangoro. If I didn't see Pangoro, I would have been completely fine. But I saw Pangoro, and that made me just... Uh, I needed I needed a Dark type switch. <laughs> this is the one game where it would have mattered most. God damn it. All right, GG to Jorge. Honestly, brought some fanta brought a fantastic Vitini set that I was not even close to being ready for. Um... But yeah, man, next we can play uh, the Matra Milotics and Matt O'Shea. Uh, we get 5 0 today. Uh, it was not a good loss by me. This is a terrible loss. Um, I will admit that I play like shit. And um, I don't know. I think, I think he played really well. I think I played too passive. I wasn't very aggressive at all this game. And because I kept predicting to go for like knockoff or something else with his uh, uh, Pangoro, he very much benefited from that. Um, which I mean, to be fair, it's a slow king against it, and I was shuck instead of Colbert, so I couldn't just raw stay in some days. Um, but it was definitely a bad loss. But, uh, yeah, check out everyone else in the B-Bill down below. Check out my opponent as well. Uh, and, uh, next week, like I said, we play Matt O'Shea and his Macho Milotics. We're two and three. Uh, I don't know what he'll be by the time this goes up, but let's try and get a dub there, because that's going to be an even harder match. He is a Raquaza and a Mew. And, uh, yeah, talk to you guys next time.